Good morning, friends. So, come with me today as I prep for being down for the next few days. All right, let's try this again. Oh my God, my face looks so big, but I actually lost six pounds. Anyways, come with me to prep as I will be down for the next few days. So, a longer than that, really. But anywho, so, I talked to my mom yesterday and I was like really trying to figure out like, why do you have to take metal out when you're having surgery and I was like like I'm not gonna like can I like use tape like what can I do and she was like no so I have to go buy different rings for my piercings so that I don't want to um I don't want my piercings to close so I need to go do that and grocery shop and there's something else that I need. Oh, I gotta go to the bank. I just need to have everything lined out so that when I'm down, I'll have everything done. So, I had a rough week last week, but it's okay. My mistake is two shall pass. So, anyways, I'm having surgery tomorrow and come along with me. Talk about horrible blogger. Horrible. Horrible. I was so caught up at the mall with Rain because, excuse me, what I didn't tell her is because I was hoping that it would work out the way that it did, and it did um, because Rain is home from school this week too. But um, Santa was there, so she got to go take pictures with Santa. But I didn't buy her pictures. $40? Like, that's a bit much. But Rain was so... Because she's never taken a picture with Santa before. She's six now because Rain's birthday just passed last week. But Rain has never taken a picture with Santa. Like, never. I think she was terrified in the beginning. And so now that she wants to. So I was like, oh, it's perfect. Nobody was in line. And so she was so happy just to talk to him. If she would have made a big deal about like, mommy, can we please get the picture? I would have bought it, but I just couldn't justify spending $40 for a picture. Like, no, no, I couldn't do it. But anyways, I went to the mall, got what I needed to get. Um, and then I ate with Rain. We ate, then we went to the grocery store so that I can have everything done. I got my clothes in the dryer and i just need to like clean my room a little bit so that yeah i'm prepared for my surgery and gotta like pay some bills because i don't know how much pain i'm gonna be in but ooh, if it's anything like the pain that i'm in now y'all just don't know good morning friends for the weather just like Houston because it's bipolar but it does not actually get cold here in my opinion but anyways oh, where is everybody going it is officially surgery day and I'm so tired I did not sleep last night at all I was up every 30 minutes like every 30 minutes I was awake and it sucked but when I finally got up this morning um, the first thing I did was pray because I could have just cried about 10 minutes ago the way this pain is like on another level and I have pain medicine that they already wrote for me for after surgery some strong meds but I wouldn't take them right now I was taking tramadol which tramadol does not do jack shit um and last night I didn't want to take anything because I was afraid that 
if I take something and then I'm getting anesthesia, I was just like, no, I'm just gonna suffer through it. And so I am like, I cannot wait to just get some type of relief because this has been like day eight now, eight, eight days. And this was like a procedure that had to be done. They added, added my surgery because it's like an emergency you have to do it right away um and i had to i had to go to three doctors first i went to the er then i had to go to another doctor then they had to take refer me to the surgeon and then every single time i had to go i had to get a referral and you know how insurance works but luckily my doctor's office my primary doctor why is everybody at the post office just gotta go mail a bill. Let me go drop this bill off. I'll be right back. All right, look, let me show y'all something. Where is it? <laughs> never ever have I taken my jewelry off. Never since my dad died. Like never. Um, and it's literally all in a bag. So. Um, and I'm just paranoid, so I take it everywhere with me, but it will be in safe keeping. I literally just took it off before I left the house. Like, this was probably the perfect opportunity for me to have it clean because it's actually filthy. But anyway, so <clears throat> I've had several surgeries before, like three C-sections, four knee surgeries, I've had plastic surgery, but that was like 13 years ago. I mean, I've had like um, a pelvic surgery, but the I've never had a surgery and my mom not be there. That's what I like, dislike. And the reason why I was asking my mom yesterday, if y'all don't, don't know, if I've never mentioned this, my mom works in surgery. Um, she's worked in the surgery department. Jeez, I can't tell you, 30 years maybe, I don't know. But my mom knows basically every procedure, what they do. And um, so that's why I was calling her, asking her about the metal and stuff. But this time I think I'm just like, I don't know what to expect. Normally, of course, the very first time I had a C-section, that's different. The other ones, I knew what to expect. My knee surgeries, I knew what to expect. But I don't know what to expect, but I know the type of pain that I'm in right now. But I don't have a choice but to bear with it because just what I gotta do. So I'm headed now to get Rain some food and then I'm dropping her off. And I think it's gonna take like an hour for the surgery. But I have to arrive there two hours before they actually take me back. Hopefully they take me back a little bit sooner. Cause two hours, that's a long time. I already did all my pre-up and all of that stuff. But anyway, so yeah. So other than that, um, what can I tell y'all that's been going on? Just life has been life and, and this couldn't happen out of more I mean I guess it's good timing because I was off this week for Thanksgiving but I won't be able to cook on Thanksgiving so that sucks but I'm gonna do the best I can with oh my gosh are you kidding me everybody's like trying to go into the honey bake ham and That's it. I'll see y'all on the next phase of this little video.
video. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'll see y'all. And I'm here. Let's get this show on the road. I have no nails on. Look at that, trying to get this one off. But I'm here. Let's get to the surgery center. And I forgot my phone. Like, how do I forget my phone? This is just a recording phone. I totally left my phone in the car. And I didn't drive myself here, obviously, but yeah. Is it working? There's no light. So I have time before they call me back and I'm using this phone, which is not charged. And I need a charger, which I need to be able to text my mom um, I can still text my mama I message to um, let her know how the surgery went. And I can't do that with no charger. So, luckily, Target is literally next door. I don't even have to like walk on the street. So I'm gonna go to Target and get a charger. This is like a big super Target. It smells good in here, I'm hungry. I have not eaten anything. And I was not hungry, but now I'm starting to get hungry. And I hope they have a cheap charger, like a five below type. Cause what I just paid for this surgery at the surgery center and what I gotta pay at the doctors for my follow up next week. Talk about unexpected expenses. Okay, let me get a charger because this phone's like on 4% and that just ain't going to fly. This is a big fancy Target in Orlando. This, if y'all been to this Target, I think it's like two levels. It's like a two-story Target. And here's a wasted $15 because... They don't have just like everything and I wasn't about to buy the Apple ones that cost $30 so $5.99 and $7.99 plus tax $15 but I'll be able to charge my phone and that's what's important and again if you're like oh my god she's worried about charging her phone and she's having surgery yes I have no way to contact my ride well, the surgery center is going to call them, but my kids, my mom, uh -huh. I don't have a way to communicate without a charger, so that's why it's important. And luckily, I'm like right across the street. Hi. Okay. Got my charger and literally was like laughing with the lady, checkout lady, because we were talking about ice baking. And she was like, how do you not know how to bake? I said, me neither, but I love to eat. And it was so funny. So I, t I was telling her, y'all, you know y'all got this pecan pie flavor ice cream. She was like, what? And so we had a good laugh about that. So yeah, Target is literally right there. And I'm already about to be at the door by the surgery center. So super close. And the lady at the front, she was literally trying to help me. She was like, I'm so sorry, I have an Android. I was like, a oh, what? And I was like, but wait, I got a new iPhone. Like, they take the um, C charger or something, and but it didn't work. So yeah. So now I'm gonna go charge my phone and I can be happy that I can at least contact my children so they know when the mama's out of surgery. And when I start. I took a shower, but I'm feeling like I'm gonna be musty. Okay, after this, we're going in for this procedure. I'm ready to get it done now. Y'all, I told the nurse that I was like so sleepy because I didn't sleep last night. She's like, oh, you didn't sleep good tonight. Thank you. Well, prep. They had to put tape on my ear because I couldn't get my ear to go. But oh, 
they gave me some kind of drugs right now and yeah those definitely have helped it like on cloud nine right now <laughs> I'm, I'm asleep good all right so i'm waiting because the person in front of me that's having surgery they're not done yet so but the drugs that they shot me with they only shot a little bit to make sure it was going in my vein i was like Ooh, whatever that was i need another round of that i thought i was gonna go night night because i am so sleepy but i'm just waiting now i am so tired though but probably in like another 45 minutes so at this point i think i'm now gonna like not come back on camera just i think i told y'all everything so yeah so i'm all hooked up and ready to go and i'm ready to go get fixed and the doctor already came and talked to me it's really nice so yeah so all right guys that's it and i'm all prepped for surgery so i'm gonna end this video and I'll see y'all when I'm done. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll leave you to the back and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.